Well, hello everybody. Happy Tuesday. Pastor Matt here. And we are starting off our day today with Holy Communion. And wherever you are, I hope that you will get your bread and your juice ready to go and turn in your Bible this morning to John chapter 6. And I want to take the next couple of minutes as we read a few wonderful verses and prepare our hearts to receive living bread and living juice or living drink out of the cup today. So as you're turning to John chapter 6, I would like you to go to verse 53. Jesus is speaking. He says, Most assuredly I say unto you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As a living Father has sent me, I live because of the Father. So he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers ate the manna and are dead, he who eats this bread will live forever. You know, this is a loaf of bread right here I have in front of me. And, you know, this is just a, a regular piece of, of bread and you have a little piece of wafer or cracker or whatever you have. There's no significance of holiness of the flour that was used to make this bread. There's nothing, you know, special about the bread or even this particular tray or cup. What this is a symbol of is when we partake of communion, we are partaking in the representation, the symbolism of the body of Jesus that was given for us on a cross that was beaten the beard was plucked out of his face, he was punched, he was made fun of, he was spat upon, he was lied about. And yet, here he is, he was God. And he came to this earth to give his life as a ransom for you and I, that we might have eternal life. And I love in the book of John that so many times when it uses that word life, it's using the Greek word spelled Z-O-E, Zoe, and it means the God kind of life. Jesus came and gave his body. And as we partake of not just this bread, but as we've asked Jesus to come into our heart, he is causing us to live forever with him. And we are going to dwell with him with the God kind of life. And so today, friends, I want to ask you to reflect on how wonderful it is that our Savior Jesus Christ died on a cross and has given all arrangements necessary for us to have life forevermore with Him. So that being said, let's take our bread, hold it to heaven, and as we prepare to eat, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for giving your son Jesus. Jesus, thank you that you are the bread of life. Thank you that you gave your life as a, as a sacrifice for our sin, for our weakness, for our failures. And Lord, you not only caused us not to die and not to go to hell, but you would cause us to go to heaven and to have eternal life joyous forevermore. Thank you for your body that went on the cross for us. We may eat today. Let us hold up our cups. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your precious blood that was poured out. I pray even today, let us have greater revelation and understanding of the sacrifice of the cross and of how much it meant for your blood to be poured out on this earth and down those beams. Lord, that you did that, that we might have total forgiveness of sin, 
a total clean slate, walking in righteousness, Lord, expecting to inherit eternal life. Jesus, we are forever grateful. Thank you for your blood. We may drink. Thank you. We'll see you again tomorrow.